You know how to ask him? Let me explain. People say my dua is not answered. Number one, praise Allah. Number two, seek the forgiveness of Allah. Number three, send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad, peace be upon him, his family, his household, his companions. Number four, ask what you want in the most beautiful ways and ask in any language you want. Keep repeating it and express how desperately you want it. If you really shed a tear or two, it would help because subhanallah, Allah is very, very merciful. You know, when you shed a tear, subhanallah, it actually is another level of supplication. Then as you're ending your prayer, make sure you end it again with the blessings and salutations upon Muhammad وسلم, and perhaps some praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's how you ask Allah. And if you were to precede your supplication with a good deed, the chances of it being accepted are far more. If you were to precede it with a, a charity or fasting or salah or something good, recitation of the Quran, it would really be good. Then there are certain times that are better than other times. Get up at night when everyone is asleep and cry at the time of the hajjud, at the time, the last third of the night, cry at that time, ask Allah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that at that moment, he descends to the lowest heavens asking who is asking me that I can give them, who is repenting, that I can accept their repentance, who is seeking forgiveness so that I can forgive them. Then another very interesting thing that you need to do, my brothers and sisters, you need to be on the right page with Allah. If you're involved in a sin, try and cut it out. Cut out that sin for the sake of Allah. Seek forgiveness from it. If you are doing something wrong, improve your relationship with Allah and Allah will grant it to you. I know of many people who two years later, they say, Subhanallah, my prayers were answered in the best possible way. You're looking for a job. Never give up prayers. So the Prophet ﷺ says, Yustajabu li ahadikum ma lam yastajil. You know, your prayers will always be answered for as long as you don't make haste. So they asked him, what is meant by making haste? He says, a person who says, I called out to Allah, I called out to Allah, I kept calling out to Allah, but he has not answered my prayer. That means you gave up, so Allah does not give up until you give up. If you've given up, it's over. But if you haven't given up, remember, Allah will never ever give up. May Allah grant us our wishes. May Allah grant us the best of this world and the next. May Allah safeguard us from that which we are asking for, which we don't know is actually detrimental for us out of his mercy. May he keep it away from us and then may he make us happy with it. I end off by telling you there is a supplication known as Dua al istikhara wherein if you were to read the meaning of it, you say, Oh Allah, if what I'm asking, you know, is good for me, my religion, my present, my future, my uh, hereafter, then let it happen for me, make it easy for me and grant me blessings in it. And if you know it is bad for me, my present, my current life, my my future, my hereafter, my deen, my religion and so on, my relationship with you, if you know it's bad for me, then Keep it away from me, keep me away from it, and then make me happy with your decree. Oh, that's an amazing supplication. I pray that we can learn from it. So don't give up, never lose hope. Understand the Almighty loves you much more than you love yourself. And he knows for a fact what's better for you. If you have a good relation with Allah, he'll always give you what's best. Be happy with what you have. Sometimes what you want is the worst thing you could have. Allah saves you from it through his mercy. Don't complain. And don't blame him and don't be upset with him. Never. Oh Allah, grant us the ability to be pleased with your decree and decree for us that which is which is the biggest blessing for us. Make it easy for us. Grant us our wish when you know it's best for us.